Breeders from National Agricultural Research Systems of 22 African countries, Africa Rice, and the International Rice Research Institute met at the second annual meeting of the Africa Rice Breeding Task Force in Benin. We have come to realize that constraints vary across regions. And this way, we are tapping experiences from other parts of the of the continent for the good of other continents. For example, mark assisted breeding, which has taken roots in West Africa, is also now being upscaled into the East African region. Uh, hopefully, materials that will do well in Sierra Leone and several other locations in Africa will automatically be released. So, in essence, the breeding task force has accelerated the, not only the evaluation of the materials, but also the adoption, the dissemination and uh, release of varieties will also be accelerated. The objective of this task force is to accelerate the development and release of new rice varieties through multi-environment and multi-year trials of many promising breeding lines. And so the innovation in this atelier, we gave the floor to all the participants to present the activities that they have executed at home. So that was the first point number one. The second point, we also asked to make the point on the homologation. Because for us, the selectioners, the focal points, will have in their country the responsibility of the homologation of the varieties and of the implication in the system of the semence. Et donc la troisième partie, nous avons essayé donc de voir un peu qu'est-ce que nous prévoyons faire l'année prochaine. Et ça c'est très important parce que, comme je vous ai dit, nous avons tenté de réduire le nombre d'années. On a enlevé une année. Ensuite, nous avons essayé de réduire aussi le nombre de variétés qui rentrent dans les serres. Parce qu'avant, on avait près de 500 variétés. Maintenant, nous avons réduit à 100 pour permettre aux gens d'avoir des données plus fiables. This year, Et... particularly, we have modified the protocol a bit in terms of line to the screen. This, in the end, will allow the identification of the best materials with data, strong data supporting their attribute and then serve as a basis for release. So by doing uh, this uh, exercise, uh, it is possible to generate different varieties for different stresses. Even if it is in high altitude, there are stresses like uh, iron toxicity and uh, some uh, potassium deficiency and uh, also some nutrient uh, deficiencies in the field. The breeding task force has also been actively engaged in capacity development programs on breeding, experimental design and germplasm database management for national researchers. In the case of the development of capacity, it consists in giving annually formation sur donc les dispositifs expérimentaux sur comment analyser les données comment gérer les données pour que finalement toutes ces informations collectées sur le terrain soient bien documentées give uh, good varieties to farmers and to consumers uh, is that is the main objective but in addition to it is also a related objective of training NARS through these trials which are conducted mainly by NARS themselves they are learning a lot who also participates in most, almost all the stresses, iron toxicity, drought, uh, cold tolerance, soil tolerance, um, and uh, other stresses that probably will be something like uh, Afghan rice gulmich. All these stresses we have and uh, we are exposing most of these varieties to them. So our country has been fully uh, participation of most of the trials. We know the farmers a little bit because these partners are mostly related with the farmers, they are connected with the farmers, but it's still I feel they are not connected with the millers. Because sometimes I have seen many examples where miller uh, like a dictate the quality. So the millers participation should also be sometime later in the our, this system so that we can see that what is needed exactly. The Ghana market puts a lot of emphasis on quality, so our next stage is to look at the quality of those varieties. Should they prove to be as acceptable as Jasmine Five, which is our national standard, then we'll take them to multi-locational size and eventually have to give them to farmers for cultivation. At this meeting, four days of intensive discussions led to identification of promising rise lines to advance in the screening process.
Les variétés qui seront issues de ces groupes d'action sont vraiment des variétés prometteuses et c'est des variétés qui, auront, qui ont eu le temps de parcourir plusieurs pays. Donc ce serait vraiment des variétés élites. Donc à la fin, je crois que il y aura très peu de difficultés. Les besoins des paysans seront satisfaits. This breeding task force uh, can uh, give us a good uh, chance to share information. Uh, C'est une opportunité pour nous uh, de travailler avec le breeding task force parce que auparavant. Euh, la sélection dépend de notre variété sur, sur les variétés locaux ou sur les variétés dans notre collection. Mais à partir des différentes variétés venant de, de Straza ou de Breeding Task Force. Till now, we don't have aromatic material in some schemes and the test due to the many problems called or disease. Most of the aromatic material are susceptible to BLB, the uh, bacterial rift bite. That is uh, one of the challenges. And we use some from our uh, material like Sahel 108, Sahel 134, uh, Sahel 329, this aromatic variety we use as a store line. So we're going to develop new hybrid combination from uh, our uh, local uh, varieties. Almost 80% of the rice produced in Africa is on the rain-fed environment. So this is the reason why drought is a major stress for African rice farmers. So if, if we can get rice varieties that are tolerant to drought conditions, this will be a big plus and a big achievement for our farmers. The rice breeders are confident that in 2013 the first lines that have gone through this continent-wide screening process will be ready for release. We have to continue to supply new varieties that are more superior than the existing ones so that the problem of uh, low productivity can be reduced. Summing up the event, Africa Rice Deputy Director General Dr. Marco Oakrise said, We're getting very close to uh, release of some of those varieties uh, in the different countries. Some countries are a bit ahead, but in four or five countries I expect that by next year the first lines will be released that are uh, an output of this effort of the Africa Rice Breeding Task Force. And, and we are now uh, um, clear on that they will be named Arika lines. And Arika will then stand for, for quality. It's a brand that we all own. Uh, as, as, as members of this task force and, 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 and it will be a brand that will stand for quality because we have solid data through this network that can back the performance of, of all these varieties.